What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have a real cool offering from the G.I. Joe front. All the way from 2001, we bring you the G.I. Joe Royal Marine Commando. Let's bring this guy in a little bit. Uh, one of my favorite G.I. Joes from this time period. It's beautifully done. Uh, Hasbro, uh, once again, was on the cusp of really making these G.I. Joes more uh, articulate just everything from their their uniforms to their weaponry everything was being sized to scale for these figures and this is from the D-Day collection uh, I bought my Royal, Ma Royal Marine Commando uh, back in 2001 from from Walmart actually I was in Walmart in 2001 and picked this guy right off the shelf. And he's another figure that, once again, pretty much was so cool, you can't miss this guy sitting on a toy, toy store shelf. And that's why I miss G.I. Joe being on a, uh, the toy store shelves. I just wish Hasbro would bring these guys back. And everything about this figure... It's beautiful. The Marine, uh, the first Royal Marine Commandos, I believe, were formed back in 1942 and considered to be an elite, an elite unit. And everything about this figure is super cool. As you can see, everything is still intact here. All of his uh, stickers and labels. And I love this uh, holster, cloth holster. There's his pistol with his clip, removable clip, his knife, sheath. And this gun is just gorgeous. There's the banana clip there, beautifully, beautifully made. And the jacket, is another eye catcher for me. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the to the family. Welcome to the MIB Museum. This is what we do, guys. We like to welcome all of our new subscribers and our old subscribers. Kick back, relax. We're doing some videos today. I'm a little tired, but I'm working for you guys. You look at the, the, the intricate detail of this weapon. And this is Hasbro trying to keep pace uh, with the other toy manufacturers that were putting out uh, one six scale uh, figures and weapons. And he's got the gung-ho grip hands. And our Royal Marine Commando has been in our museum collection ever since 2001. And we just love him to death. Here's his helmet up here in the back. And this is a very, very unique and ultra cool head sculpt. And I've only seen this head sculpt uh, on another G.I. Joe once, and that's on my uh, on my Desert Jeep uh, Patrol G.I. Joe. And we did a, uh, a video on that particular Jeep, which was ph phenomenal. It's one of my favorite Jeeps. And the driver head sculpt is the same head sculpt as this one right here. Beautiful beret, green beret here.
Hasbro spared no expense with the production of this uh, uh, of this figure. I mean, they really gave him some really cool gear. You can see the, the the pants and boots, but that pants kind of flare out right here near the, near the thigh. He's got this pocket right here, and as you can see, he comes just just a a ton of equipment for this particular GI Joe set, and uh, I paid back in two thousand and one from Walmart. I paid $29 uh, retail, uh, tax brought it to about maybe 30 something dollars. So this was not a, a, a cheap figure by any stretch of the imagination. He, he was expensive. Even back in 2001, you can still find this guy on eBay, Amazon, but I will always tell you to check Cotswell Collectibles. And I say that, guys, because I'm a MIB collector so this is you're looking at a a c10 museum example here that we have in our museum collection but the pe good people at coswell collectibles uh they're they are collectors themselves beautiful pockets here so they they really they won't put anything out for sale if it's not c8 or better so you're getting the, the the box is going to look like this. Everything is going to be intact. Um, it's very rare that they'll sell a GI Joe loose, and if they're selling him loose, he's going to have all of his all of his equipment and accessories. But they're selling him loose because the box is too badly damaged to sell him inside the box. Let's turn this guy around. Let's get a side shot for you. He's a little dusty, guys. I apologize for the dust. Has a side shot of him. Great action shot. I wish, that, I wish this was a poster and you guys heard me talk about that in the past. And here's the back of the box. Get you a blown out look at the box. And the cool thing about this um, Royal Marine Commando is, once again, the, the cool thing about all of these Joes, what Hasbro has done is they've researched the history and they've put all of this wonderful information about your figure, your G.I. Joe figure, on the back of this box. It's telling you some history, some insight about the Royal Marine Commandos. And here's right here. First Royal Marine Command, the unit was formed on Valentine's Day in 1942. So you, you're getting a, a bit of history as well. And once again, here's a blown out shot of, of the artwork that's on the front. Beautifully made. Let's get you a year. While we're down here. Oh, there he is. 2001. Guys, what do you think about the Royal Marine Commando? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? It's another side shot. Here's his equipment list. He's got the he comes on the super articulate body. D-Day, here's some more D-Day collection. Uh, we have all of these guys. In our museum collection. Ernie Powell's another cool one too. Turn this guy back around. Guys, we have a fun week in store for you. I want you guys to stay tuned. Got some more surprises for you. Some more awesome videos on the way. You know the routine, guys. Grab your beverage. Mine is coffee right now. 
hop on the couch, kick back, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. God bless. and keep collecting.